Yeah, man, I, I just don't know how I feel about that. Okay, but then, like, what do you think about the global economic differences between AAA power countries and their massive growing GDP? Why won't fortunate... you let me inside of you? Gory, we, we are so not there yet. I, I, I was talking about the game. You think this is a game? So if you didn't already know, on PlayStation and PlayStation alone, you can now pre-download the beta for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. But as of right now, you can't get in to the game until Thursday. So Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I believe 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a bunch of other different time zones. I'll try to throw them on screen here. That is when this actually opens up. I wouldn't be surprised if it went live early, but today we actually got a ton of information as to what is going to be coming throughout this beta, what is different, what is changing, and that is what we are going to be talking about in this video. We're also going to briefly go over how you can download the beta as well, if you didn't know already, and when you can download it on Xbox and PC as well. So we're going to start with that, and then I'm going to dive into everything that we know is going to be in the beta and what is changing since the alpha now at this point as you saw before you can't actually get into the game but one the thing has changed with the main menu and that is actually brand new menu music and it slaps So at this point, you may be wondering, how do you get your hands on this sweet, sweet menu music, aka the beta? And the way to do that is right now you can pre-download it. So if you have a PlayStation and you have pre-ordered the beta, you can play this starting on Thursday, the 8th. Now, you can pre-download it now. And the way I did it is you just go to the store and you type in, I typed in Black Ops Beta and it was the second thing that came up and you can just download it from there. So once you click on it and actually download it, it's a relatively big download not as big as I thought it was going to be, but at least on PlayStation, it appears to be 29 gigs, which is relatively big for a beta, but pretty average size when we compare it to other ones. So let's clear up any confusion whatsoever here. So the beta this weekend is PS4 only. If you pre-ordered it, you can download it now and you can play it on the 8th and 9th. If you have not pre-ordered it, you can play it this weekend, the 10th, 11th, and 12th, and I'm guessing that preload will probably start in about two days. So if you have not pre-ordered the game on PlayStation, you can probably start preloading on the 8th. I don't think they've announced the exact time for that yet. Weekend 2 is all consoles, so if you already have it on PlayStation, you can just play it again next weekend, starting on the 15th. If you are on Xbox or PC and have pre-ordered the game, you can start downloading it on the 13th. And then seemingly, if you are just doing the open beta on PC or Xbox, you can probably download that one starting on the 15th, and you can start playing on the 17th if you haven't pre-ordered it on Xbox or PC. Hopefully, that clears up all the confusion, all the questions you have to ask about it. Now, as far as what is new in the beta and what is changing, first of all, we have all of the same stuff that was in the alpha. So first of all, you have your 6v6 maps, which include Miami, Moscow, and Satellite. So those are the three that were in the alpha, as well as your normal modes like Domination, Hardpoint, Team Deathmatch. But there's also Combined Arms, which is the 12v12 mode, which is Domination. This one is actually on two different maps, one called Armada and the other called Crossroads. So this is nothing new. Now, there is one new game mode known as VIP Escort. We talked about that in yesterday's video, so I'm not going to go into it. But the bigger mode is called Fireteam Dirty Bomb. It's a 40-player mode where you play in teams of four to complete an objective. Now, I don't know whether there are respawns, whether this is like a Battle Royale type mode, or really what it is. I just know it's 40 players. You play in teams of four. has something to do with the Dirty Bomb. And we have seen a couple of images from this mode. I believe all the images that I'm showing you right now are from this mode and it's a much bigger map than your normal mp mode now like i said i don't know how this mode is going to work this is the thing that i'm definitely most interested going into the actual beta now the other thing that is new over the alpha is there's leveling so the way that the alpha worked is just everything was unlocked you could use all the different attachments but this time you actually have to level up your character and level up your weapons to unlock various different attachments for them more similar to what the real game is actually going to be now whenever this happens people always ask the question is your level from the beta going to carry over into the final 
normal game? And the answer to that is always no, it never does. I'm actually glad it doesn't. On top of that, the progression, the order that you unlock weapons, order that you unlock attachments is always different from the beta to the final game. However, playing the beta is not useless because by reaching level 10 in the beta, you unlock this weapon blueprint that you're seeing here called the Mutual Animosity. And I believe this is for the Type 821, which is an SMG. It was actually a pretty good SMG in the Alpha. So that's kind of what it's looking like we have here. Now, as I mentioned yesterday, Treyarch tweeted saying that the Black Ops Cold War open beta is almost here. We'll have all the details this week on what's coming, including new maps, new modes, new features, and all of the improvements since the Alpha. Today, we found out that Fireteam was going to be in the beta, but we didn't find anything else about new features, new modes, new maps, or anything like that. So I'm guessing that later this week, potentially tomorrow, or maybe even on Thursday, they're going to put out some articles saying all of the changes that they have made since the alpha. This wasn't in today's blog post, and as soon as we find out more about this, I will let you guys know. Also, it says spoiler alert, there's a lot, so I'm guessing there's going to be some big blog post that Treyarch puts out, kind of like patch notes going into the beta. Now, later in the blog post that they put up today, which by the way, I will link down in the description, but they say, expect frequent updates and a few surprises to take place within the beta across both weekends and stay tuned to the official call of duty and Treyarch channels for specific details so what they mean is check out their twitter they'll keep you updated but don't worry i'll keep you updated whenever there's something new added in i'll put it out on the channel make sure you guys know about it um, but basically what this is saying is that throughout the two weekends they're going to add various updates throughout the weekend some of the updates are going to add different maps different modes probably up the level cap so that you can unlock lock different weapons we'll probably actually get a good idea of what that level cap is going to be come the first couple of days but we'll talk more about that once it's actually out and then in doing so throughout the couple of weekends you'll be able to unlock more and more now what i am interested in there they also say and a few surprises to take place within the beta now i want to know what these surprises are we're going to get some leaks with warzone maybe some zombies intel this is something that i find very interesting and i don't exactly know where they're going to take it now as of making this video they still haven't put out those patch notes that i was talking about before but tony flame just tweeted as i was making this video saying if you liked the gunsmith stat percentage readouts for attachments in the alpha just wait to see the next layer of depth in the beta gunsmith now I already thought the Alpha Gunsmith was really, really good, and I thought it was even better than Modern Warfare's with a better layout and everything like that. I am super curious to see what they do next with this, and this is probably closer to what we'll be getting in the final game with Gunsmith, and closer to what we'll be getting in the final game with everything else. I'm also really curious to see if the weapon balance has changed since the beta. The AK-74U was really good, the Type 63 was really good, and I'm curious to see if those were left the same or they changed them, so hopefully they do end up putting out some patch notes that we can get to some greater depth out of. The other thing that Tony Flame tweeted a couple of weeks ago is that they were actually making changes to maps as well which is me really interested because a lot of people really didn't like my ami in the alpha and i'm curious to see what they change in this do they make the map smaller do they not change it at all were they lying about this these are just a few of the things that i'm really looking forward to seeing what they end up doing with this also the whole fire team thing that we talked about before super interested in that as well speaking of which these are the two new screenshots that we were given in the past two days this one was the cover image for the trailer yesterday and then this one was released today with the blog post. Now, I don't know if these are two of the same map, if they're one of the bigger maps for the new fire team mode, uh, or if they are both going to be new maps that are inside multiplayer at 6v6 or 12v12 maps. I don't know at this point, but it's interesting to say these are really the only two screenshots that we don't know where they're from. The rest of them we have seen in the alpha or different trailers or things like that. These two images are not. These are brand new. So if you have any ideas of what you actually think these two images are, feel free to let me know down in the comments. So I guess all there is left to say is I'm interested. I'm interested to see what comes of this beta, to see what has changed since the alpha and what they have to say about the game moving forward. Also, the fire teams thing, I'm super curious about. It's something we've never seen before. Is it going to be like Spec Ops? Is it going to be like Warzone? Where is there going to be the medium between there? It's a team of four. So obviously, if you're playing with your friends, that might be fun. But 
Needless to say, I'm interested in all of these things. And as we get answers to this, I will keep you guys updated. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so. We're on that road to 1 million subscribers. We're less than 80,000 away. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, it's much appreciated if you do so. Also, as always, if you enjoy the videos, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you think of all of this down in the comments. Let me know if you're going to be playing the beta this weekend, next weekend, not at all. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. But as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars.